Hello friends, I'm so happy to be back here. I was a little sick, but now I'm back on my feet. I know a lot of you missed me. I've missed you too, and I'm happy to be among your energies again. So, between Earth and the skies, we have a powerful week astrologically. Really an initiation week. This is a week that could really mean a lot for the next few months. How we act during this week, what we do during this week could have implications in the long term. And what I mean is, is that this is a time that we are faced with the constrictions of life. This is a time that we are faced with the limitations of life, with the fact that we need to, great, to, to grow older and wiser and more reliable and responsible, depicted by the sun moving over Saturn this week. By the way, I didn't say that this is an astrological forecast for the week between the 10th of December to the 17th of December. So, this is a time that we are faced with a kind of test. Looking at our life, looking at ourselves, looking at our creative endeavors, and understanding what needs to be taken off the table and what needs to grow and become much more reliable and stable in the growth process. So this is a time that we could be faced with a lot of fears, a lot of anxieties regarding the future. Will it work? Will it not? Will we succeed? What will happen if we will succeed? A lot of anxieties there and a lot of fears and what we really should be doing is trusting the source, trusting the universe and doing our own part in creating and cultivating this garden that we want to see in our future, in our own life becoming the gardeners of our dreams this week and making that leap of faith, understanding that if we'll do the work, things will manifest. As they said in the field of dreams, Kevin Costner, wonderful movie, saw, saw it when I was a kid, if you build it, they will come. <laughs> so in a sense, you know, it doesn't really matter if your dream is going to manifest exactly the way you'd, you thought it would might be greater, might be lesser, might be just different. But when you look back at this time, when you look back at this time and on your actions, you can tap yourself on the back and say, hey, even though it was constrictive, even though I was fearful, even though there were some anxieties and pressure and stress, I did what I needed to do. I walked forward in faith. I really worked through manifesting my dreams here on reality in a reliable and responsible and an adult mature way. And I can tap myself on the back for that and that will strengthen you for time to come. So even if it doesn't work out 100%, you would still be strengthened. You would still be proud of the way you behave through this time. So I urge you, to put that foot on the gas pedal and to take your life forward this week. To take your life forward this week. We have a full moon in Gemini on the 14th and that full moon just hits everything around. It is trining Mars, it is trining Jupiter, it is uh, uh, squaring uh, Chiron, it is sextile Uranus. So the orchestra is playing all around, the heavenly orchestra is just pumping out its energy and its music and it's touching our pain and it's touching our energy and it's touching our lower chakras and it's widening our wisdom and our, and our uh, horizons and it makes us understand things about who we are and our life and the way we want to change and the way we want to take our life forward and bring progress to our own private life and indeed to the collective, being part of this wave of change that is enveloping the world, much through indigenous people, much through the people standing at Standing Rock, standing in, in South America, in Central America. Indeed, everywhere around the world, the long-haired natives are showing us how we should treat the earth and providing inspiration for everybody. So being part of that process, both on an internal, private level, you know, your body and your life is part of this earth. 
treating yourself better, living a healthier life, having a smaller ecological footprint, really bridging the gap between what we believe and what we dream our life would, would be and how we truly live it. Our ideals and how we walk daily on this earth, bridging that gap, being part of that process and being proud that we are. So, because all that all heavenly orchestra is playing, it's going to be a lot of noise as well. There's a lot of energy in the sky. And this is a full moon in Gemini. It's scattered energy. You're one minute there, you're somewhere else the next. Your mind can go from one thing to another in a blink of a second. And that's good because the absorption of information is so great, is so big. And again, that provides a holistic approach to things. A view that can see all the different angles and deduct a personal, um, a personal flower, you know, a personal thought, a personal outcome from it. And that all joins into the fact that Mercury, the planet of thought, of communication and of navigation through life is about to retrograde. We're going to talk about it more next week. It's about to retrograde and during this week it's going to conjunct Pluto. It's going near to Pluto and it's going to conjunct Pluto. And that makes our communication much more intense. And whenever, a Merc uh, whenever we have a retrograde, a lot of people are fearful of Mercury retrogrades. No need to be fearful. There's nothing bad about it. It's just about a change of perspective. It's about seeing things from another angle, and that can provide, again, a wider scope. Whenever a planet goes into retrograde, the, plan, the, the, the subject that that planet is in charge of are working in reverse. So we can see things from another angle, from a different side. That's why there are changes in schedules, there are delays, there are cancellations, because things don't work as they usually do. But that's not usually a bad thing. That's a time that we can utilize, that we can utilize to provide positive change in our life. So take that time and, and dig deep in for that inner gold, for that mental gold within you, within your life. Places that have remained hidden up to now. And that conjunction to Pluto is really making us all very psychological, very introspective, very capable of understanding the inner mechanisms that makes us tick. Just don't be too caught up in the drama because it makes us much more emotional than usual and our words are powerful. So make sure you put those words out powerfully but positively out in your life. So that's about everything for the next week. I just want to tell you when we have black moons. So on the 12th of December, around 4 a.m., Central European time, that's, um, that's around 2200 hours of the 11th, that's 10 p.m. of the 11th in uh, Eastern Standard Time, until a quarter to two uh, Central European time on the 12th of December, that's a quarter to seven a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 12th of December. Then on the 14th of December, from uh, 6 a.m. Central European time until the 14th of December at 1 p.m. Central European time. That's uh, about midnight of the 14th of December until 7 a.m. of the 14th of December Eastern Standard Time. And then on the 15th of December from around uh, 11 p.m. Central European time until the 16th of December at around uh, 2.15 p.m. Central European time. That's um, around, um, I'm sorry, uh, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. of the 15th Eastern Standard Time until the 16th at 7.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, 
I want to thank you for listening. I'm happy to be back. If you want to reach out for consultations, private lessons in evolutionary astrology, or our courses, I'd be more than glad to hear from you. And there's a lot of activity coming in the next few months. I'm heading to the States uh, for a tour. I'll be in Florida, in New York City, and in Kansas. If you want to book a session with me, that's the time to do it. It's going to be January, mid-January until the beginning of February. And of course, I'll keep you updated with videos all along the way. Thank you for being here. This is Boaz Fighter. Goodbye.